Today's verses come out of the book of Lamentations. Lamentations was written by Jeremiah, who is also known as the weeping prophet. And during this time, he had been sent to God's people and God's people, frankly, didn't want to listen. And so he was really discouraged. He was disappointed. He was confused and he was kind of hurting and struggling. And I wonder about us right now, how are we doing? Are we discouraged, disappointed even, struggling a bit, confused? If so, I want to encourage you to do what Jeremiah did right in the middle of this book of Lamentations. Lamentations is a, a poem of pain, a symphony of sorrow, and right in the middle, Jeremiah does something very important. He calls to mind all the attributes about God that he can think of in that moment to help him get proper perspective. And so let's read these verses from Lamentations 3, verses 19 onwards. It says this, I remember my affliction and wandering, the bitterness and the gall. I well remember them, and my soul is downcast within me. Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for him. So Jeremiah does two things. He calls to mind all the things he knows about God, the truths he knows about God, and he speaks to himself. It says, I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait on him. And so Jeremiah reminds himself of the Lord's great love. And in the Hebrew there, the word great love uh, means like a dependable love, a committed love, a loyal love, a faithful love, a love that will never fail. And then it talks about how his compassions they are new every morning. And some versions may say mercies that are new every morning. And I do love the word compassion though, because it's such an action word. It's, it's God's love in action towards us. And that is new every morning. So every time the sun comes up, we get to know that God is moving towards us with his love, that fresh new mercy awaits us, that he is for us and not against us. And so this compassion, this mercy that's available to us each and every day is such a wonderful thing. A love and a compassion and a mercy that we can't outlast and we can't outrun. And we don't deserve it. And yet there it is, for God is faithful. And then some may ask, well, how right now can you cry out, great is your faithfulness? Well, here's how, because I know our God and here's what God does all the time. He turns tragedy into triumph. He turns our mourning into dancing. He creates beauty from ashes and he takes our shame and makes it his glory. And that's the God we serve. So if anything today, I just wanna encourage you with those beautiful words, that wonderful reminder from Jeremiah who was going through a great season of discouragement and despair and yet he says this, I call upon the Lord. I remember his great love for me. I remember the compassions each and every morning that he has for me. And because of this, I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. I will wait for him. And so let's take a moment to wait on our God in prayer. Would you pray with me? And so God, we pray. Come Holy Spirit and speak to us in this moment. Thank you, God, for your great love for us, for your compassion, for the love that moves towards us, that we can't outrun or outlast, that God, your mercy is there fresh for us every single day. And so this day, we take hold of that compassion. We take hold of that new mercy and we say thank you. Thank you that you are with us and that you are for us. And we wanna say back to you, we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.